Hi everybody, Jason here. Uh, today I have fired up our latest beta, which is version 4.707, and uh, that will be the next update for Great Battles. And in this next update, you'll get the custom input profile feature, which we've created. And what it does is it allows you to create custom key mapping and pitch response profiles and assign them to particular aircraft. Uh, we think this will uh, give you a lot more control over your uh, inputs and uh, we think you'll like it. So let's take a look and see how it works. Pretty simple to get going. You just go into settings, you go into key mapping, and the screen should not look uh, strange or unfamiliar to you. It is just our typical control screen where you can make assignments. However, we've added a few features. If you look at the top, it says current profile and right now it says global. The global profile is what will be assigned to any aircraft that does not have a custom profile assigned. Um, but the global profile can be changed and edited just like any other uh, profile in the game. As you can see, I've assigned uh, a couple buttons already for the autopilots and I can, you, know, you can see you can uh, change them if you want which I don't want to do you can also assign the axes uh, for pitch roll yaw you can also go into weapons and oh here we go I'll change the uh, trigger uh, to joystick 3 button 13 there you go so now I've made changes to the global profile I like them I'm gonna keep them so I'm gonna go ahead and hit accept and that saves it to the global profile uh, now I want to go make a custom profile for a particular airplane. So I'm going to go ahead and click key mapping again. Now I'm going to go down to the lower left and create custom profile. Now I want to make one for the Fokker DR1. And so you can create a new profile, give it a name. I call it Fokker DR1. And what that does is it gives you a, a new screen here that you can play with. Uh, in this case, it does keep the assignments from the previous profile you looked at um, because it's a new profile. Uh, so now you can go in here and make any changes you want. Uh, again, just like you normally do. Now you can also rename the profile if you wish. You can uh, reset the profile and I'll go ahead and reset it and you'll see that it sends it back to default. Um, however, I'm going to go back real quick and I'm going to reassign the autopilots for you and I'm gonna check the uh, uh, the axes again because they've got went back to their defaults which are not what I want to use so it just takes a few seconds to set everything back up and again easy easy to do and now I've altered the Fokker DR1 profile uh, and I want to save that key mapping profile so I go ahead and hit accept all right it sends me back now I want to go back into key mapping but this time I want to create a pitch response profile for the Fokker DR1 so I go ahead and go into pitch responses now this screen may also look familiar to you it is just our typical uh, input uh, access uh, adjustment screen and in here you'll see that there's a global profile and you can still adjust the sensitivity and the dead zones, however you wish, uh, except you'll also notice that there's something called neutral point for the uh, pitch axis. Now, what this does is it alters your default center point or virtual center point for your joystick. And what this does is it allows you to kind of give you a, uh, a an adjustment to your elevators um, which is basically the same feature we had in way back when in Rise of Flight. Now we've added this uh, to Sturmovic because the Flying Circus aircraft can be a little difficult to control. They have a pretty fierce uh, pitch-up uh, feature uh, or personality, let's call it. And uh, uh, we decided to give this uh, to users again because a lot of people have asked us for it because they liked it so much in Rise of Flight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new pitch response profile, this time for the Fokker DR1. So I just click new, new response, and of course I can call it Fokker DR1 if I want, and I do. So I hit accept. Now that's created a new pitch response profile. Notice over here it says aircraft using this response is currently blank. That's because I currently have not assigned it yet. So in the, v, in the, in the uh, Fokker DR1, I like to set it. Uh, way down here to negative 40. 
this uh, this kind of uh, slows down or halts the most of the pitch up uh, characteristic of the Fokker DR1 which makes flying it more comfortable for me so once you go ahead and make the changes you want to make I go ahead and hit accept which is the same as the save button if we had a save button so go ahead and accept and it just sends you back uh, to the previous screen now I've created a, a key map profile for the Fokker DR1 or I've created a key map profile called Fokker DR1 and I've created a pitch response called Fokker DR1 now I want to assign them to the Fokker DR1 so you just go into profile assignments and here you'll see all of our planes and vehicles listed along with custom input profile and custom pitch response so I want to assign uh, these to the DR1 so I go to central powers and find our friend the DR1 go into custom input profile and choose Fokker DR1 and then I go to custom pitch response and choose Fokker DR1 again to save any changes to the screen go ahead and hit accept and send you back to the main uh, uh, key assignment screen um, unlike rise of flight in Sturmovic here we have separated the key mapping and axis assignments from the pitch response assignment um, this gives you even more control over your custom input profiles and should allow you to dial in just about any aircraft you want with the inputs and the pitch response that you desire so that's basically it um, you can create custom key maps assign them to specific planes you can create custom pitch responses and assign it to specific aircraft and uh, we believe that this will make your life a little bit easier again to save anything on this screen or any screen in the custom input profile feature you just hit accept now I'm going to jump in the cockpit of the DR1 and show you the effects of the pitch response and here we are in the cockpit of the Fokker DR1 and I'm just going to demonstrate real quick what a difference the pitch response setting can make uh, the Fokker DR1 is the most extreme example of pitch up we have in great battles um, I used to use this quite extensively in Rise of Flight and we had the feature there as you can see I put the stick in the neutral position and the nose uh, rose up uh, quite quickly and if you fly the DR1 for more than a few minutes this could be quite annoying and it can throw off your aim and it's uh, quite difficult to control this aircraft and as you can see it pitched up again I level it out and now I'm going to go into the settings and change and adjust the pitch response and in this case so you can see here, there's a the Fokker DR1 profile I have and here I go to I choose negative 40 for me negative 40 feels about right I've never flown a Fokker DR1 uh, but I would imagine that maybe our pitch up in the game is not perfect so here I get a little bit of pitch up when I throw it into neutral and it's much more manageable uh, we get complaints from customers quite often that flying the flying circus aircraft could be pretty challenging and we want to make it more comfortable for people so here's what we've done and as you can see as I'm flying here and I leave it in the stick in the neutral position it still pitches up a little bit but it's much more comfortable to fly and um, I think a bit more reasonable so this is uh, essentially the custom profile feature that we've created or I should say custom input profile feature and it's coming in our next update uh, we hope you like what you've seen and thanks for watching